Can you imagine, a dog can take avenge of his master's death? This happens in the movie, Max. At the start of the film, the protagonist of the film, Max leads the US military personnel to a town in Afghanistan. While the rest of the squad tries to communicate with the villagers, his handler Kyle follows after him. With Max's assistance, an illegal stockpile of guns and other weapons is discovered inside one of the residences. The locals have been selling them to terrorist groups. So the discovery is significant for both Max and Kyle. Kyle returns to the base after a long day of labor and phones his family in Texas. The family loves Max and treats him as if he were their own child. On the other hand, Kyle's teenage brother Justin dislikes the dog. The next day, Kyle's superiors summon his troops to ask them about missing weapons. Someone in their group is corrupt, but officials have yet to determine who is. Kyle is well aware that his best buddy and fellow soldier Tyler is taking weapons in order to smuggle them back to the States. He confronts Tyler on their next field trip, but Tyler asks him to stay quiet about the issue. Max is once again leading the troops. He comes to a halt in the middle of the road, feeling danger, but Tyler urges him to continue. Max walks directly into the trap laid by the villagers due to his carelessness. Several explosions occur around him, and Kyle flees to save his dog. He yells for Tyler's assistance, but Tyler remains still behind the rocks. Kyle is killed in the shootout, but everyone else survives. Back in Texas, officials come to their homes to notify them that their son has died. The news has devastated the family. The soldiers bring Max to Kyle's funeral, so he say his final goodbye to his master. He is plainly upset as he sits beneath Kyle's coffin. The family finds out Max was so connected to Kyle that, after his death, he has become traumatized by loud noises and hostile to people. Because Max exclusively obeys Justin's orders, the family chooses to adopt the dog for him. In the next scene, he visits his friend Chewy. Justin usually pirates games and sells them to his friends. The next day. He also meets Chewy's cousin Carmen, who is a dog lover. When she learns that Justin is having problems with Max, she offers to assist him in training the dog. Max learns to walk beside Justin at the end of the day using Carmen's tactics. Moments later the doorbell rings, Justin opens it and finds Taylor outside. It turns out that he was injured while serving and has been home for a while. However, when Max sees Tyler, he becomes very aggressive. He even manages to free himself from the leash and attack him, but Justin and Carmen intervene just in time. Tyler glares angrily at Max, knowing that the dog is aware of his real motive. Tyler lies when asked how Kyle died, claiming that the dog turned on Kyle and attacked him. The next day, Justin visits the facility where Kyle trained Max. Kyle's close friend and fellow soldier state that Max was a wonderful dog who would never have harmed his handler. Justin also finds out that Tyler didn't return home because of an injury. He then goes to Carmen's place and shows her a DVD of Max being taught. On watching the video of Kyle and Max together, Justin is sure that Max couldn't have been the cause of his brother's death. Just then, Chewy's criminal buddy Emilio comes to Justin's residence, demanding the pirated game. During their conversation, he receives a phone call from Tyler, which makes Justin suspicious. After Emilio has left, Justin asks Max to follow him in his car to find out what he has to do with Tyler. They soon arrive in the midst of the woods and observe Tyler meet Emilio, who is accompanied by Italian gangsters who are purchasing guns and weapons. Justin immediately finds Tyler is smuggling guns from Afghanistan and selling them to gangsters. The criminals also have two dogs to protect them, and when they hear Max's bark, they chase him. Justin attempts to flee, but Max is attacked by the dogs. He manages to overpower both of them, and the two escape without being caught. When Justin gets home that day, he is surprised to discover Tyler and his business partner Deputy Stack there. They saw Justin's bicycle in the woods and realized he had seen them with the weapons. Tyler requested a private conversation with him. He warns the child to stay quiet about what he saw. Justin, terrified, promises not to notify anybody for the sake of his and his family's protection. 
Tyler is now storing illegal firearms in Ray's storage unit, but he claims that it is being used by his friend. When Ray returned home, he inquired of Justin as to what had happened between Max and Deputy Stack. He suspects Justin of not telling them the entire truth. At night, Ray then goes to the storage place and discovers Tyler and Deputy Stack drawing their weapons. They initially try to make an excuse, but quickly realize that their secret has been revealed. As a result, they kidnap Ray and plan to murder him once the deal is done. Back at home, Pamela receives a phone call from Ray, who informs her that he will be spending the night in the hunting cabin. She is confused because they do not own a hunting lodge. Just then, Max returns to the home. He and Justin go to Chu Wai and explain the issue to him. Following that, Max takes Justin, Chu Wai, and Carmen to the location where Ray was kidnapped. They eventually arrive at an isolated place in the woods and discover that Ray has been taken as a captive. Carmen runs back to call the police while the guys keep an eye on Tyler and his gang. The enemy dog again smells them nearby and attacks Max. Tyler and Emilio also approach Justin with the purpose of murdering him, while Deputy Stack remained with Ray to keep an eye on him. Ray fights Deputy Stack and manages to release himself as soon as the two are alone. After a long fight, Max also defeats the enemy dog and runs to Ray, the father and son finally reunite, but Tyler is still on a pursuit to kill them. Ray separates from his son and rushes in the opposite direction to distract him. Deputy Stack chases Ray in his automobile, but Ray shoots him, causing his car to crash and explode. Meanwhile, Justin and Max are fleeing Tyler, but he eventually catches up with them. Tyler is ready to shoot the boy when Max rushes to his rescue once more. He assaults Tyler, causing him to fall off the bridge and into the water. A few minutes later, Carmen comes with the cops, and both Max and Justin are rescued. At the end of the movie, we see Justin in front of his brother's grave. He expresses gratitude to Kyle for providing him with a friend like Max and salutes him for the first time. So, the viewers, this is all we have today, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and please press the like button to help us. Also leave a comment if you want us to review your favorite movie.